Let's go to Paul, a West Ham fan. Hello, Paul. Good evening to you. Good evening, gents. Oh, that's a, that's a happy sounding hammer. That is. Mm. I have just seen ninety minutes worthy of a Johnny Lyle team. Wow, you're going back. No, so, oh man. Fair play to them, all eleven, superb. You sound like you've been like Paul, Paul, Sorry, Paul, You sound like you've been drinking since the eighties. Oh mate. I, I was in tears ringing my... I, I woke up my grandson. I, I'm, I'm What'd you say to him? Ear to ear. What'd you say to your grandson? Just because of that night, tonight, was superb. What'd you say to your grandson when you woke him up? Uh, I, I was uh, removed uh, from the room. Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't matter. What a night. And is all I can say is... Every 11 of those was worthy Paul, of a clown and blue Paul, shirt. Paul, did, did you watch the game or did you watch a rerun yes. of the 1980 FA Cup final? Because you've, you've only uh, beaten Palace 3-2 tonight. I know, but to watch those guys turn out tonight and put the effort in that they did, as I say, worthy of a Johnny Lyle team, they played man-to-man superb. It, it, it was just a pleasure to watch it. Come on, Jeff. And, and that, the, say the Brooklyn header was amazing to nick Paul, the game one 0 Paul, look, I, I, I mean, I'm just, I mean, you've got you're going a little bit over a the top. Bit. Just a little. I thought West Ham were excellent tonight. I mean, really good. Um, ben Rama was brilliant. Uh, ben, Rice, ben, Ra- ben, ben, you know, ben, ben, you know, it wasn't ben Barcelona. Divo. You beat. I, I just, ben Devo. Ben Devo. He was like Alan Devonshire. <laughs> <laughs> Who was, like, who, was like, who was your Paul Allen, your Jeff Pike? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, gents, what a superb effort by all of them. You've got, to, you've got to stand up and be counted. We're above Tottenham, which is the best thing in the world. Chelsea, but well, now they've got rid of that. <laughs> uh, Pike ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I think we'll let you, you, we'll let you go. I think you're going to wake your grandson up again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we dumped a bit there. We dumped a bit there. I, I personally would have left that in, actually, but yeah. Rufus is a bit all oh, scared. Yeah. Let's speak to Steve, who's a West Ham fan. He's up next. Hello, Steve. Good evening. Hello, boys. How you doing? You were good. Hi, How Steve. are you? Steve? Yeah. West Ham are fourth in the Premier League at the moment. Yeah. Cheer up, Steve. Oh, fine. Okay. Cheer up, Steve. No, no. The only reason I say that is we've got uh, next seven games. We've got Liverpool, City, Villa, uh, Spurs, Man United in the Cup. So it's a bit, it's way. a bit of a false lead. I know, but it? hold on, let's have it right. You're fourth. I mean, you, you, you're there. By hook or by crook, the league table doesn't lie. I know you played a game more than the teams above you, but still, West well, Ham United I'm, are fourth. I'm, I'm made up, and we've, we have got the best midfield in the league. It's potato salad and rice. It's absolutely <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> potato, yeah. Uh, they are phenomenal. The boys have been phenomenal. Antonio should have had four tonight. Yeah, yeah he should have done. Yeah. Um, what you about know, Ben Rama? A... Ben Rama, I ben thought, was outstanding today as well. It was a yeah. it was a brilliant performance. That one, of the, one of the best I've seen West Ham put in this season. Yeah, and the other thing is that I agree with Moises um, so far when he said we're a new West Ham because the old West Ham would have got beat by Stockport in the cup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I know what you mean. Wouldn't have been wouldn't have been so professional against Doncaster at the weekend. I know it's Doncaster, but we we yeah. totally and utterly annihilated them. Steve, got one down inside five minutes tonight and turned it round. Steve, let me ask you. I know, I know it was um, it was a way. It was at Sellers Park. So I know that. But overall, do you think not having a crowd, an angry crowd in there, a protest in most weeks about the owners? Do you think that makes a difference to West Ham? I think what makes a difference is that since we've gone to the new ground, we've not really played that well. And it, some players have said there's no better fans to play in front of when we're on form. Um, so if we all went back in the stadium now with how well they're playing, it, it's a different atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Now, I know you can say that's fickle, but that's football. Mm-hmm. Um, if we suddenly fell off a cliff like Newcastle have, then you're going to have the complete opposite again. Uh, mm-hmm. And all that I've asked for is the, the, the performances. I'm a season two old myself. You know, I'm, I think I can count on one hand the amount of good games that we've had mm-hmm. since we've moved. Mm-hmm. And I think we just needed to persuade the fans that good football was coming um, and now it's looking like it's starting to happen don't get me wrong there's still things they need to improve I think Moy's got it 
totally wrong when he went to Chelsea. Um, but there's still little, little things I need to tweak, but it's a vast improvement on it what is, it was. So, it 